Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. We've got another exclusive shop visit just for you guys today. We're in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're gonna visit with the folks at Pour the Pedal that specialize in folding bikes and travel bikes. Stay tuned for after the break. So we're here with Al from Pour the Pedal Bikes. Uh, thanks for having us. And what kind of bikes do you guys have here? Well, we carry pretty much exclusively either folding and or traveling bikes. So we carry the Montague, which is a, a full-size bike that, that folds. We carry the Brompton, and we also carry uh, the Moulton. Uh, Moulton is not known uh, too well here in the States, but it's just, it's a wonderful bicycle. It, it doesn't fold, it uh, separates. Can we get a sh quick shop tour? Sure. Here's a display of our, our, our Bromptons and some Brompton accessories. Kind of nice to show them this way. That's they're, they're well lit and you can see how compact that they, they could get. So what's in this little area over here? Well, this is our Brooks Nook. When we first got started, we were seeing people come in with their 10-year-old Brooks saddle under their arm ready to try our bikes. What's, what's your best seller? Actually, for us, our best seller is our B67 model. Okay. And it is, it is a wider saddle and it, it is sprung, so it's really comfortable. We're kind of all about comfort here at the shop. And you guys sell some of their saddlebags and other kind of smaller accessories? Yep, and as beautiful as they are, they are really highly durable too. They're really well made. And what's this case about? Well, this is our uh, our pedal case. These pedals are are all quick release pedals to kind of go along with the theme of our shop, of a folding bike or a travel bike. One thing a lot of people don't realize is you can actually swap the stock, pe stock folding pedals on the Brompton and put something else on like the MKS or even this one that uses toe clips mm -hmm. and uh, even ones that are clipless. So let's talk about these bikes. I'm sure a lot of folks have never seen uh, the Moltons in person. Can you uh, kind of talk us through uh, the frame and, and make sense of it all? The Moltons again they are not folding bikes they're separable bikes and they separate primarily right, right here along the frame. So they'll separate into two to get into a vehicle, the boot of a car, or so on very easily. The thing that's unique about the Moltons is they have front and rear suspension. Oh, cool. So they are renowned touring bikes because you, uh, the bike absorbs all the roughness and chatter on the road. And how does it work? Is it an elastometer or some kind of mechanical suspension? This is, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a rubber cone here, very similar to what Alex Molson designed for the, the Mini when it was first built in, in the UK. The front suspension is a leading link suspension. It has a, uh, a dual rate spring here in the head tube. And as you can see, you know, it gives you all the suspension you need and it is tunable. So you could tune it to be as stiff or as loose as, as you want or uh, you know, as you need for whatever terrain you're on. In the, in the former life, you were an architect. Can you talk about um, like the, the truss and the space frame and what that adds to the bike? Well, it adds a lot of stiffness and lightness. If you want to span long distances with a structure uh, that uses the least amount of steel, you go with the truss. If, you, if you're looking for stiffness in many different directions, you go with uniting a few trusses together to form a space frame, and that's basically what the main frame of the Molten is. It's, it's a space frame. This is a customer's uh, Molten, and it looks like they just uh, they took it on a trip. Yeah, they, were, they rode, um, uh, that pilgrimage walk in Spain, El, Cam El Camino de Santiago, that path takes on cobblestones and dirt roads and, you know, as well as nice paved areas, but uh, you never know what you're going to uh, be riding on. So what is this uh, strange and beautiful pink thing? This is called a kiffy. It is a cargo bike. Being a portable bike shop and not having much space here in the shop, we were always looking for a cargo bike that could provide you with a lot of utility but still is compact enough so it's you don't have a huge machine that you have to figure out where how to transport it or, or where to even store it. Front carrier uh, could hold about 75 pounds. Uh, they even have a child carrier here that could, that could carry 120 pounds uh, worth of child. And the unique thing about the Kiffy though, when you turn it, the wheels can't and uh, and lean into your turn. Very quick and agile. So of all the, the kinds of bike shops to open up, why folding and travel bikes? It's, it's all because of my son-in-law. I can't call him my son-in-law because he's, he's not married to my daughter. <laughs> but uh, he flies a small plane about three miles and lands about three miles uh, from our house at a small airport. So one of us, either my wife Donna and I, had to go all the way to pick them up and drive them three miles to our house. He mentioned 
mentioned folding bikes. So I thought, hey, that's that sounds like a neat idea. He said, if we had folding bikes, we could ride to the house and then you could come later and grab our stuff and we could bring them back. I said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. And I really got to appreciate the utility of them, the compactness, how easy it is to take with you. And that's how I kind of got started in it. And um, as the recession sort of went on and on, uh, we sat down and we says, well, you know, before all the money runs out, let's do let's let's do something. And we thought a folding bike shop would be, you know, kind of a nice way to have our passion be part of our work. Well, thank you so much again for having us uh, do a little shop visit. Oh yeah, you're very welcome. If you guys find yourselves in Phoenix and want to check out a shop that specializes specifically in folding bikes and travel bikes uh, like Bromptons and especially the Moltons, then check out Pour the Pedal Bike. And if you guys like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.